And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at Wave 2 for Dungeons & Dragons Attack Wing. I really like Dungeons & Dragons Attack Wing. Uh, these nice expansions get me very excited to add more dragons. So far, each wave that's come out has come out with a new dragon. Today's dragon, the Shadow Dragon. But there's also two other units. Let's take a look at these three units to see if you might want them in your armies. The first models we're going to look at are the Aracocra Squadron. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. I really enjoy these guys. I don't know as much about D&D mythology, but and I've never run across these guys, but people who look like walking, talking, flying bald eagles, they're really cool, and I love the way the models look. And this is the third troop that's been introduced in the game. There's not many troops, but troops are what change this game from being more than just flying around to actually feeling like a full-fledged miniatures game. So when we look at this squadron, let's look at their stats real briefly here. We can see that they have some really good maneuverability when, the, when there's just one of them, okay? Probably not, though. You're probably going to start with the full-fledged troop, which means their maneuverability is down. But when you're down to just one, and it might even be worth taking just one of them at points, but I, I think you'll want to run them as a troop. Um, and then they have a ranged attack with javelins, which is a three, which is very useful. And over here, when these guys, they get a plus one when after they do a four maneuver. So when they're flying at full speed, they can hit pretty quickly. Speaking of maneuvering, there's their thing. This is a, as, as a flying uh, creature, they have some good maneuverability on the ground, not nearly as much. In fact, they can run fast in the ground, but you can see most of those are red maneuvers. Some of the cards that come in this pack here, we have Vigilant Watcher, we have the Dive Attack. Dive Attack is a card that I like quite a bit because basically it gives you a bonus if you're swooping, which is something I thought that the game should have, and I can see Dive Attack being a card used a lot for that reason. Disperse, where you can basically split and run when you're being attacked because it gives you a plus three defense dice. Or the V Formation, where you have one in the front and three in the back. Uh, which is really cool. You can disable the upgrade basically to make an attack against every creature with the V formation. Then you have this here, which I will say Ar Aroqua. He's a leader. And what I like about this one is it basically picks one of these guys to be a leader. Now you don't know which one is the leader. You have a leader of your squadron, of course, but this guy is like a special one. And here, uh, when you do an attack, you can target creatures at an extra range. Um, when, when So your range for their javelins is three, but now you can give it a four or to whatever, any good flying troop. It doesn't have to just be these guys. Uh, but any time that you're hit, you have to roll a die, and there's a chance that this guy dies so that you don't no longer have the special ability. These eyes also have the ability to summon an air elemental. Now, this is really neat, and it's specific to these guys. Uh, you'll summon a token away from you. It basically is your attack for the turn, but then this token will stick around for two turns attacking people. Can't move. But I can sit around and has a kind of a ranged attack against others, which is a really cool thing. Uh, there's a, a whole card comes with it for rules for that. And then the seventh shard of law, which allows you to give it. I don't think you'll be using it as much for these guys, but you, you can give someone else the chance to air walk. Next, we have the Angelic Paladin. And he's another model that I, is kind of cool. Here you see this guy flying towards you with a hammer. I really like him. So let's take a look at him. You have the Angelic Paladin and then the, the named one, I believe his name is, is Saprio. Anyway, he has a decent attack here. He has a range of a spear and a hammer of two. And you can see he has good stats all around, but a chance for a lot of upgrades, especially on the 40 cost character. Not to mention that he can, this guy can heal peoples. He can remove a face down damage card from himself or a friendly creature. So it's really difficult for me to ever pick this guy when this guy seems like he is so much better. The Angel also has something really interesting here with its flight card. You'll notice that it actually can pivot in air. Most flying creatures can't do that. They can only do that when they're on the ground. And you also notice that on the ground, he's not as good as he maneuverable as he is in air, but he's pretty close. So what else does he have? We have the Tuning Fork of Neutrality, which lets you um, 
give someone extra energy types like the holy type, a soaring assault just like the other guys. Here's a chance when, when you spend a charge token in the air, you get an extra die attack. Angelic resistance, here you have to be an angel, but basically it stops you from being charmed or have the fear token used against you. Righteous fury, which uh, gives you an extra damage. Um, uh, more extra damage comes from the holy warhammer where you get an extra uh, a die against neutrals and two extras against evil. And then a shield of virtue, which gives you some extra defensive dice, which I like. And then the blade barrier, which gives you extra defense, but also when someone gets close to you, attacks them. Sort of like an aura. Then we have our dragon from this wave. Oh, wow, the shadow dragon. Uh, pretty cool model. Uh, I think actually almost all the dragon models are cool, but this one I like very much. Let's take a look at his stats. He's the Shadow Black Dragon, which gives him a new type, um, the Shadow type up here. He has a decent range melee and an attack, and the special guy here, Umberless, gets a plus attack die when he attacks a creature that does not have him in his forward arc. One of the things you'll notice is this guy has, this Black Dragon has the best dodge of any of the dragons. He's kind of weak comparatively. You'll notice he only has two armor and four health, two armor and three health, but a three dodge. And he has shadow. Uh, shadow, they're considered to be in shadow, so the, the adventure might be dimly lit or it takes outside at night. Um, they're, they, then they're in darkness, okay? And so when they're in darkness, that, that can change different things. And when they defend in darkness, it's harder. So I don't know that you'll have to convince your opponent to play at night, so if that doesn't happen, the Shadow Dragon's not quite as good, I guess, but if you're playing some sort of night scenario, these guys are going to be great. And in fact, you even have a spell where you can put a burst and you can put darkness out on the board. Anyhow, uh, looking at the Shadow Black Dragon's flight, he is the most maneuverable, in my opinion, of all the dragons. He has two, he can turn around at speeds two and three, He's not as fast as some of the other dragons, but even on the ground he can move okay, but he just can curve very well and get around there. He comes with, of course, the obligatory Shadow Breath, which ignores armor. Very useful. I like Merciless here. If you do a face-up damage to someone, you get to do a face-down damage. Great! Here we have the Necrotic Oppression, where you can target a creature that was just damaged by the Shadow Breath and disable one of their upgrades, or Frightful Presence, which is kind of like an attack on everybody around you, and it can cause them to fear. And I really like how this is like an attack, but if you damage the person, you don't actually damage them, they are just now in fear, which means they can attack. Very useful. I really enjoy these units. The Flying Angel is one of my favorite units in the game thus far, uh, but I actually like all three of these units. I like the Flying Eagles, and I like the Shadow Dragon. The Shadow Dragon's a little weak, but the fact that he can dodge and maneuver really well makes up for that. So it'll be interesting to see as I play with these more, especially against, you know, like the... It's interesting how they have the Shadow Dragon, who's just evil, against the, the, the Angel here. Are they good to go up against each other? Anyway, more cool stuff is coming. This is just the first of many different ways. Waves. Come back later and we'll talk about Wave 3. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door! Yeah. Yeah.